Hey guys, this is Adam McPhail and I'm here at my home in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, today I just want to talk to you guys about teaching remotely and give you guys some tips or the way that I do things. Um, I teach a lot of remote lessons on programs such as Skype or Zoom and I'm also an adjunct professor of guitar at Belmont University here in Nashville and we are currently teaching online so I just want to help you guys out, let you know how I'm doing things to make your, te your virtual teaching experience a little easier and I also want to talk about the importance of uh, you know, being organized and just creating a, a constant and clean workflow to your lessons. So I hope this video helps you guys. So like a lot of people do, I have a, a secondary monitor behind me and I find that uh, this is a great tool to use when teaching because um, you can separate lesson materials from your laptop and you can keep your eye on the student and stay engaged. For instance, if we're working on sight reading or such, you know, I can email a student the file and I can put it on the screen you know, behind me to my right so I can glance at that but I can still engage at the student and make sure my attention is on them um, instead of having to you know, be looking down at your iPad or searching for papers and stuff, having a monitor mounted, you know, kind of elevated um, will, will help you out and help the flow of your lessons be a lot more thorough and you can split screen, you know, you can put uh, if we're working on natural number charts, we're working on sight reading, I can put both of those up on my screen and it just helps me stay more organized when I'm teaching. So when I'm teaching, I'm primarily using Skype as my uh, tool for you know, virtual communication. Um, I, what I'm finding when I talk to a lot of my friends and whatnot, or even my students, you know, if you're using the mic built into your laptop, it, it's kind of hard to hear. You know? so, what I did was I'm now using my interface as my microphone, so the audio is a lot clearer. Um, you know, if you're using your laptop speaker, it can cause latency and it can cause confusion and it uh, can prohibit the student from being able to hear you, from being able to learn. So well, I'm going to teach you guys today how to set up your interface. I'll be using my Apollo. Um, but this will teach you how to use a microphone. You can run it through your interface and you can get very clean audio so that your student can hear you very well. So I'm going to walk you guys through the steps on how to set up a microphone through your interface and run that through Skype. So as I said, I use Skype as my main means of communication for my students. So what you're going to want to do is plug a microphone into your interface and I'm using the Apollo uh, Twin. Um, so I have it running in input one and I'll be using a Shure SM57 today for demonstration. So testing, testing. As you can see, I have signal running through channel one. Okay, next what you want to do is you're going to want to set up your virtual channels to, for your laptop to run through your virtual channels. So on my Mac, I'm going to go to my launch pad. I'm going to go to audio MIDI setup. You're going to come down to PCI, find your interface, universal audio. And then I'm going to go to your output and configure speakers. From there, I'm going to put my left speaker to virtual one and virtual two. Click apply and then done. So now I've got my virtual channel set up. I've got my laptop running through virtual one and virtual two. So if you go to Spotify, I'm just going to play a Kirk Franklin song. You can see I'm getting signals through those channels. So therefore, you know it's working. And the last step, it's actually a pretty simple process. So what you want to do is open up Skype. You're going to go to Preferences, Audio and Video. And for microphone, you're going to change it to your interface. For me, it's the Universal Audio Thunderbolt. And for speakers, I'm going to change it to the Universal Audio Thunderbolt. And after that step, you're basically done. So once you make a Skype call, um, you can now use your, your microphone to chat them and they can hear you a lot better. It's just going to help your overall quality of your lesson. So I hope this, guy, I hope this helped you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I, I find this is a great way for those of you wanting to break out into virtual teaching.